Navigation locks are among the world's oldest engineering feats dating back to 960 AD in China's Song Dynasty. They function as marine elevators to raise and lower boats between bodies of water of different heights. In the U.S., there are locks in the Great Lakes, upstate New York, the Mississippi River, Ohio River, Columbia River, and many other regions. Vessels operated by the U.S. Coast Guard and Army Corps of Engineers, postal boats, and commercial vessels including barges have priority over recreational boats. Check on special requirements for personal watercraft and human-propelled paddlecraft. Multiple vessels can use most locks at the same time, so share the space to save time and water. Learn as much as you can about a specific lock before you navigate it as lock facilities vary in size and operation. Nautical charts and cruising guides indicate lock locations plus length and width of lock chambers. Some locks have lock masters who have the authority of law enforcement personnel. Others are unmanned. Many operate on specific time schedules. Be prepared to wait to be able to pass through a lock, sometimes for a day or more, depending on circumstances. Equip your boat with at least two 75-foot lines to moor inside the lock chamber. Have multiple fenders and a boat hook to prevent your boat from lock chamber walls and other vessels. Plan to go through locks during daylight hours. Be prepared to attach the bites of your long lines around separate mooring posts on the lock wall. Station persons you have aboard your boat at the bow and stern to pay out or take in the free ends of the lines as the water level changes. Smaller boats with only one person aboard may use one long midship line. Note some locks are equipped with floating wall bits that move up and down as the water level changes, rather than permanently fixed mooring posts. Certain locks will arrange for smaller boats to raft up together. Contact the Lockmaster ahead of time on VHF Radio Channel 13 to state your intention to pass. Usually there's a small bell or buzzer near the approach, or give one long and one short blast on your air horn to signal your arrival. Make sure everyone on board wears life jackets and keep all passengers, including pets, sitting down well inside the vessel away from the sides. Any bump against the wall could throw people overboard. Approach at idle speed and stop at least 100 yards from the lock to assess its status. Pay close attention, adhere to posted signs, and obey all rules. Listen carefully to instructions from the lockmaster and be alert to everything going on around you. Many locks have a traffic light. Once it's green, proceed slowly into the lock chamber. Wear gloves to protect your hands when working lines and placing fenders, and equip passengers who will assist in line handling with their own gloves. Set your lines loosely to enable your boat's movement up and down, and put multiple fenders over the side of your boat to keep it from scraping the rough lock chamber wall or other vessels. Position your boat to access fixed lines, poles, cables, or ladders along the wall to help stay in position as the water level rises or falls. Follow instructions on how to use these aids. Once your boat is secure at the wall, stop your engine and wait for the lockmaster to close the gates and fill or empty the lock. Use a boat hook to fend off the wall if your vessel starts to shift. Keep a close eye on your lines and provide instructions to your line handlers to make sure your lines tend properly and don't get tangled. Once the water inside the lock chamber is raised or lowered to the appropriate depth, the lockmaster will open the doors and signal that it's safe to proceed. Stay clear of the gates as they open. Watch for the green light to signal it's safe to exit the lock. Start your engine, release any lines or handholds, and motor at idle speed out of the lock chamber. Stay well clear of larger vessels with limited maneuverability and visibility, and watch out for their wakes, backwash, and undertow. Navigating locks is one of the unique experiences of recreational boating. A few simple preparations and the right equipment will make for smooth passage. Many lockmasters will offer step-by-step -step coaching to help make locking safe and enjoyable for both novice and experienced boaters. Always wear life jackets and stay seated. Plan with plenty of time for going through locks and be patient with the process.